During this movie, I'll be pricing up a timber frame with ply board cladding on both sides, using the Renovations and Alterations Ultra module that was purposely designed for pricing up this type of work. I will enter the required information here in the red cells. The length of my timber frame is 5 linear metres. The height, 2.4 linear metres. I'll have two rows of bottom plate, one row of top plate and one row of noggins. The default for my centres is 0.6 or 600mm. I'll leave these as they are, but you can change them. I'm going to have one internal external corner and one T-section. If I just click on the corners question mark, I can see in the diagram that for each corner three studs are allowed. You may do something different and only use two studs per corner. Whatever the number of studs you use to do the corners, you'll need to enter it in here if it's different. The same applies to the T section. I'll just look at the diagram. As you can see, three studs are allowed per T section. If you do use a different number of studs, then tell the program how many you use per T section, here in the picture. Just to show you, at the moment I will need 16 studs. If I put in that I want two T-sections, the total number of studs required increases to 19. I'll leave this as it is. The stud height is worked out exactly. It takes into account the number of top and bottom plate rows and the thickness of wood that is being used for these. Just to show you, I'll select the material drop-down menu for my bottom plate. Use the magnifying glass and now change it to a thicker timber. At the moment it's on 47mm, but I'll increase this to sawn 75mm. Immediately the stud's height has changed. This can be really helpful if, for example, you're doing a large job and want to buy all the studs at the exact length. Finally, I'm also told the area of the wall is 12 square metres. By looking at the pricing sheet, I can see the details of each item that has been priced, including if I click on the question marks, a helpful diagram. I can see I'll need 6 linear metres of top plate and because I'll be doing two rows I'll need 11 linear metres of bottom plate and 6 linear metres for my noggins. My studs are worked out. As wastage is allowed I will want 21 studs. The price is worked out per stud so it will look at the linear metre price for the stud material then multiply this by the length of the stud. I'll just click on the above opening supports question mark. If you have any openings for doors or windows in your timber frame, then you will need to enter the details of the above opening supports, as it's impossible for the program to know this. I'll need to allow for 1.2 linear metres of above opening supports, and I'll enter this number here. I will leave the default material as it is, but you can pick something different. I'll be using the default polythene for my membrane, and I will need one roll. You can choose something different if you want. The module does allow for a secondary membrane here. I will not be using this, so I just untick the box. I'm also given two options for my insulation. This allows me to price for insulation in the wall and insulation going on top of the studs. Again, I will not be using the secondary insulation on my job, so I will untick it. But if you need it, you would just check you are happy with the material selection and leave it in. I can now see the structural cladding costs. This is the ply board. I'll be using the default 9mm exterior ply. I'll want 9 sheets and it will take me just over 3 hours to do this section of the work. If you want to use a different material, you can select it here in the drop down menu. Or, if what you want isn't there, you can add it to your library and it will be there for you to select every time you price. I'm going to click on the fixings for timber frame question mark. This isn't something that I would look at every time I priced, but rather something I would set up in my master copy. In the diagram I can see that four fixings are allowed per noggin and per stud, and that for the top and bottom plate two fixings are allowed every 0.6 linear metres. I'll leave these as the defaults, I just wanted to show you how accurate your pricing can be. The fixings for my cladding are calculated in the same way. My fixing costs are based on using nails. If you did want to use screws, all you would do is use the drop down here. Select screws, then all the screws will become available to you in the material menu. All the totals for my materials, hours, labour and overall total can be found here along the bottom. 
My timber frame with ply cladding on both sides is all worked out.